The Long Island Chelpage Restoration Project is the first of its type and of its scale. It's actually a huge project initiated in 2018 through the help of the Governor's Office of New York State DEC. And as part of this project, we're producing hundreds of millions of shellfish to be put in local waters, both clams and oysters. The clams are single clams, the oysters are spat on shell, which is something kind of interesting and, and unique in that most people think of oysters as the single animals that you eat, but these are clusters of oysters on shell, on dead shell, which works very well for creating reefs. So the sanctuary sites are spread throughout Long Island. There are five locations. Uh, I believe there are three in Suffolk and two in Nassau. And the idea there is that we put high densities of shellfish in relatively small locations, get them concentrated. So being that they are filter feeders, they'll remove everything that passes over them in the water column. So in this case, we're looking to remove algae and particulate matter and deposit it on the bottom or incorporate into the shellfish themselves. And these sites are situated in such a way that they're at um, areas of kind of uh, marginal water quality. So not very good water quality, not very poor water quality, but between those areas. And the thought is that these uh, filter feeders can act as a barrier. And as the poor water quality passes over these sites, it gets cleaned up. So we're expecting them to spawn over the years and contribute to the adjacent water bodies and add to both the recreational and commercial fishing industry, which is important to us. And that's effectively what we're trying to do. Beyond the scale of this and the science and the technology we're using, another thing is the human component. So we have a strong educational component to our project, which involves youth, but also adult volunteers. So um, we've produced many shellfish in the past, but never to this scale. And the difference here is that we have to expand our nursery areas, which we use what are called fluxes, floating upwellers. And in order to man those, we have to have uh, staff members, but also volunteers. So we're looking for help on that. That's a good way to kind of integrate into the community, get people to understand the importance of water quality, the importance of shellfish, how the two interact. And we're looking to get more people on board. So we have workshops to recruit people to bring them in, to teach them how to help us, and to get involved and get their hands wet and their, their feet wet and everything else. It's kind of exciting. The Long Island Shellfish Restoration Project uh, has three goals, including improving water quality, planting shellfish to increase populations and bolstering the local coastal community. So getting volunteers involved in this project is in that goal of getting the community involved and educating them about our local ecosystems and why it's important for us to protect it and then also make our conservation efforts to preserve it. So in order to get people involved in this restoration project, I've had to recruit different local residents all throughout Long Island as our sanctuary sites are throughout Nassau and Suffolk County. So by making materials to get the information out there to get people interested in, hey, maybe I might want to come out and volunteer for this project and then get them in the door and then hook them that way through presentations and using models and hands-on experiences. That way they have some sort of positive interaction that, so that they want to be interested in going out into the field and giving us that hands-on experience we need. So we're looking for two different types of volunteers for the Shellfish Restoration Program. One being a lead volunteer in that we're looking for people to help us monitor the floating upwelling systems that are throughout all of our different sites on the island. Uh, our team can't be there every single day, so it's important that we have people looking at these flopsies to make sure that the motors are running and nothing crazy is going on with them, and that way they can call us and we can head over there if there is a problem, especially in bad weather. And then the other type of volunteer we're looking for is a more hands-on general volunteer to help us with the maintenance of the flopsies. Now this is more of a dirty job as we are looking for their help with cleaning the barrels that the clams sit in, sorting all the clams that are in there, trying to get the most optimal growth out of the shellfish as we can in this field season to have a more positive outcome uh, in the fall when we do plant the shellfish into our local population. <laughs>